Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing another update within the next day or so and I'm going to be going over a few things right here and now. Once you have the update accounted for in your user mods folder and or via that came at the mod hub, once I update, you're going to go to modules and install extra modules and you're going to have an extreme overclock along with two different ways of running it. You're going to have auto overclock and manual overclock support and I'm going to show you the manual method right now. You're going to install this along with manual and this is only going to work on the S and NES Classic for right now. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to install both of these. And then you're going to go to the game in question right here. Star Gunner for DOS. Fantastic Shmup. I'm going to showcase it in this video. Go to the tail end of the command line. Do a space. Double hyphen. Overclock. And then sync or export it and you're good to go. As long as you have the DOS box SVN core installed. And I'm also going to apply this game to the KMFD mod hub. And uh, for the update you're going to go here once you get the update. In a day or so. And it's going to be in the games tab right next to Tyrion. And again, prerequisite DOSBox SVN. So make sure you have that installed along with sync or export in the game to your mini classics. And then the other way you can do the overclock is full time, 100% all games. And this is going to work with the S and the S Classic as well as the Mega Drive Mini. You're going to install both of these together and it'll always have it active. And one thing to note is make sure you do the README here because if you're running overclock and or USB host, I would highly recommend having at least a power supply adapter of 5 volts and 2 amps plus. Otherwise, you might have some system instability game core crashing by not having enough power. And also, I have a disclaimer here. Warning, use at your own risk. Although we have safely tested for hundreds of hours, at safe temps, 47 to 49 degrees average, and risk is low. We are not liable if your system is damaged from using this HMOD. Recommended use is only with Retro Arc Extreme, which is optimized to handle it. B.S. Lenol, Mad Monkey, and myself all got this together, and we have it running awesome. And at the very bottom here, you also have the defaults for the systems. The Mega Drive Mini at 1.008 GHz. The SNNES Classic at 1.2 GHz. And then the PlayStation Classic at 1.5 GHz. And overclocked, we can get the three minis, the Mega Drive S and NES Classics, up to 1.34 GHz. Which is awesome, and everything runs so much better from... Super Nintendo games like the FX games like uh, Yoshi's Island and of course Star Fox and Dreamcast games, PSP, DS, and so on. But uh, right now, before we get into the uh, demonstration of some of these games in action, and I did do plug and play support as well for Mega Man, Mega Man 3, Number Munchers, Round 42, and uh, Patent Place recommended I implement Round 42. Very, very fun shmup. You're going to see it. Star Gunner and Tyrion. And what this means by plug and play, you're going to install the update RetroArch Extreme. And these games, and you're going to be able to run these with an SNES and or PlayStation Classic, etc. controller. And have these run from the get-go without any special additional configuration. But another thing I'm going to show you right now, before I get into the SNES Classic demonstration here. We're going to talk about the game called Metroid AM2R. Which is a fan-made game, which a Nintendo got wind of, and then they did a cease and desist on it. And now it is only found in secret societies on the internet. But another game that came out was a Street Fighter Mega Man crossover fan-made game, which was made by Sao Zong Hui. He got into contact with a representative of Capcom, Christian Svensson, and uh, the rest is history. This game was released publicly for free on the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter. And I'm running this with my PlayStation Classic controller right now. This is a great way to kill a few hours while you're waiting for the update. You can go in options with your keyboard on your PC and pretty much uh, have everything set up for your PlayStation Classic controller, etc. And I'm going to post this game in my extras Mixoplick tab on the Google Drive link. And each stage is based around a various Street Fighter character. We're going to do two demonstrations right now. We're going to do Rose. This is like a shmup style stage. Air Zone style, kind of like PC Engine. Yes, I'm looking forward to the PC Engine Mini, which is coming out next year. And of course, I love Mega Man games because you can farm for weapon energy and or health. It comes in handy, and you can even farm for a free life. Right here, you can take on enemies like this and the platform stages and farm for energy and uh, weapon energy, health, etc. Even like going back to Nintendo games, the original Nintendo, I would uh, farm for weapon energy in the final last stage before I take on the Joker and Batman. You know, get all my weapons up to 99. Then I'd play Rygar and get to the two robots and uh, level up all my uh, stats so I could take on the final boss battle easier. Then with my any advantage, I'd take down the Turbo Button and level up and Willow, a fantastic action RPG made by Capcom. 
And of course, Nintendo later on uh, enlisted the aid of Capcom to make one of the dealt up Minish Cap games for Game Boy Advance. Blue Bomber needs help badly. And I love this because this not only has shmup style stages, but it also has platformer stacking. As long as I can actually make it there without getting taken out. Which I just did. So we're gonna try this one more time here. Second time's the charm. Focus! And I never edit my videos, so you're gonna see this from the get-go. I'm gonna focus and actually try to make it to the stage here. Oh, there's the energy when I needed it. I needed it a couple minutes ago. I think I could actually go right between those without even taking them out if I wanted to. Let's try that. Little exploit, because there's uh, little pixels that you can actually navigate between. And Oh, there we go, free life. That makes the difference. So I should at least be able to make it to the platform section. I'm going to see if I can make it. Oh, no, I can't. I got too many of them in a row. One fully charged... Charge Blast will take these out. There we go. This is why I need my Turbo Fire button, too. There we go. Kind of like a Galaga style scenario there. Just uh, going from uh, a different uh, perspective here instead of horizontal. There we go. Let's see if I can get better. Blue Bomber needs help badly again. But again, after I do this brief demonstration, we're going to move on to the SNS Classic and do some overclocked DOS games. But we'll do a little bit of this stage and we'll do a little bit of the Blanka stage. See how far we make it in Blanka. Maybe I'll even make it to the Blanka boss battle. Okay, pretty cool. And rather than uh, sacrifice myself, I'm actually just going to exit the game and come right back into it real quick. Again, great work Capcom and Zhao Zong Bui. I mean, you guys did a phenomenal job in this game, and I'm going to post this on a Mixoplex Google Drive Extras tab for you guys and gals to enjoy while you're waiting for the update. We're going to do a little bit of the Blanket stage, and I love the Blanket animation here at the beginning here. Right there, awesome. That is actually right from his boss battle, in fact. Let's see if we can even make it anywhere in that stage. Blanka! It is a pretty cool weapon that you unlock. I'm not going to spoil it. You'll see it for yourself when I fight him if I get to him. If I don't, we'll move on to the uh, NES Classic and do some DOS demonstration. I'm going to use my charge blaster as much as I can. And we got our helicopter enemies, which are great for farming for energy. We got this. Nope. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm really digging the music, the presentation, style, substance, everything in this game is fantastic. Almost like a double KO here. I need to take this guy out and short work in order. And we got a free life over there. Luckily it doesn't disappear on me. And yes, if you're low on health, you could easily uh, farm a few enemies here. Okay, we should be about at the midway point right now. Okay, so far so good. Definitely impressed with this game. There's also a DOS uh, remake fan made for PC as well, which is highly, highly recommended. See if we can time this and get past that enemy without having to worry about them. That's what I love about the underwater stages. You can literally just jump right past the enemies if you want to. Here's another great section to farm for energy or uh, health and such if you need to. Try to get up there before we lose any more health. Okay, I should have enough health to get through this section. Kind of reminds me of when I was playing the original Metro game and I would do the uh, 
stuck in and bombing to get through stages that I can't initially get to without having special upgrades. Of course, if you do it wrong, you get stuck in a wall, which really sucks, and you have to reset the game. And we all know the Justin Billy Code, too, which is fun. I used to play that game over and over again using the Justin Billy Code. I need to farm for a little bit more health here before I get to the Blanka battle. Oh, remember this in the TMT game uh, where you have a pizza and you try jumping and you die? Guess what? Bam! You can just walk right past it. It's almost like an homage to that game on purpose. But yes, we're going to do a few DOS games uh, demonstration here before I finish up. This would be a great area to have the rockets left so I don't have to take on the enemy here. I don't want to get stuck on the ladder here. Screw it. Oh, I can actually uh, hit his fire. I didn't even know that. It's been a while since I last played this. A few years, in fact. Okay, let's do a little bit of farming here. Get some health real quick. And I love it that we can actually farm in subsections of the stage. Makes it a lot easier to traverse the entire stage. Not like some games where you have to do the entire stage over again, like the last world or leg of Ninja Gaiden. Look, my little invincibility frames there kept me from being taken out. That is awesome. It kind of reminds me of the Crash Man stage. Okay, we're on the boss battle here. Let me get up there. Take him out the slow method. Let's do a little bit of farming here for help before I take on the final boss. And how many of you have done this in so many games? I mean, even Ninja Gaiden for Xbox I did this and that's still one of my absolute favorite games with its perfect level of challenge and intensity. Okay, let's see if we can take on Blanket here. I got three lives or so, give or take. What I really love is he actually has a uh, energy, uh, weapon energy bar, just like you do. It's kind of cool. A nice compete here to his battle. I think I'm going to need another life here. Oh, great. Come on, coconut. Okay, I got two more lives here, so I should be able to take him out on second or third time to charm here. I do have my charge left if I'd like to try to utilize it too. We can do this. By the way, speaking of Batman, I did sell the Joker movie. I found it a pretty good movie, and I actually really strongly feel that Joaquin Phoenix is going to win Best Actor. I mean, it's a phenomenal por uh, performance. Top notch, just like Heath Ledger from uh, 10 years ago. We got this. Charge Blast time. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'm getting my butt whooped by Blanka. And by the way, doing that uh, open board game, the uh, Final Fight uh, Street Fighter crossover with Blanka is awesome, doing the electricity blast. Okay, let's do this. Focus! Okay, let's try it one more time. Again, I never edit my videos. You'll see my failure right here now, but you guys and gals will probably do better than me when you get to the blanket battle. Just gotta dodge his attack. That's the key here. Okay, do I have one more life? I know I got a free life here. Please give me one more life. Nope. Okay, we're going to move on to the SNES Classic, and this is a miserable failure for me here. Okay, now we're booting up the SNES Classic, and we have Overclock installed full time. I mean, 11.8% better for all games. We're going to run Star Gunner right here now, which runs way better with Overclock. And again, you're going to be able to install the update and this game and have it run from the get-go with your SNES and or PlayStation Classic, etc. Appropriate controller. Great work, Apogee.
And let's get this going here. I'm running a PlayStation PlayStation controller. Play mission, came at the Mac. I did a profile here because otherwise you cannot start the game unless you have a profile. We're gonna do uh, Einstein, a quarter combat. And you can actually uh, get currency throughout the stages and level up your uh, ship. So I have 1500 and uh, we're gonna add a plasma bomb. And we're gonna put it on the left uh, flank there. You can also get see what other kind of weapons we can get. We have a rebounder, which is straight out of our type style. Obviously, how much to our type? We need 2200. So you can do a couple stages and get at least 2200 credits and come back and get your rebounder ray. We're gonna play for now. We're gonna do a few more DOS games. But yes, overclock is awesome. You're gonna be able to run this pretty spot on par, close to the performance and speed of, of course. The PlayStation Classic. Just need a charge blast like in Mega Man, but you can actually hold the button down. There is turbo fire automatic here, which is awesome. The green orbs there are your currency, obviously. My shield is getting pretty low there, so I'm gonna be taken out. This kind of reminds me of the underwater combat of games like In the Hunt, made by Irem. Awesome stuff there. I love underwater games of which there are not a whole lot. There we go, we lost the life. I should have used my bomb. You can see there's quite a bit of challenge here. It's a great, great schmuck. And I crashed right into the wall there. Bam! <laughs> I need to focus there, not be taken out by the death charges and such. I'm gonna use my plasma bomb. Look at that awesomeness. I need some shield health here. <laughs> the shark took me out. Very, very cool game. Definitely, without a doubt, a cool schmuck. And you're gonna be able to play this with the update, of course. Complete with controls, plug and play. We're gonna move on to a few more games in a moment here. But yes, I need to have a little more practice in this game, and obviously the blanket battle for Mega Man X3 Fighter. Last time I played, I actually got through the blanket battle within two lives. This time I failed miserably. There we go, another plasma bomb there. <laughs> okay, I failed miserably at that. We're gonna come back to that in another video when I have a little more practice. But now we're gonna try another game here. We're gonna do number munches, which uh, Patton plays suggested I try implement the controls for, and I got them going. This one, uh, ironically enough, should work with your NES Classic controller as well, but most of the other games I showcase are only going to work with the SNES or higher controllers. And many of you have nostalgia for this game, obviously, with uh, the Apple computer when you went to school. I mean, the object here is uh, like here, multiples of two, so i got to pick number implements of two here. Ah, uh, this should be pretty easy. It's been a while since I had to worry about math. No enemies here. Oh, look at this. Let's see what happens if I run into him. Oh, no, he just chopped me down. But yes, we got that. The Troglus Normalus. And we're going to move on. But yes, we have this game working great. He wanted me to do Oregon Troll as well, but that game is not quite as easy to get implemented because of the use of the keyboard. But I'm going to see what I can do with that as well. But yes, we have Mega Man 1 3 implemented as well here. And I'm going to have a patch for this. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't run the patch. For the get-go here, you're going to need to choose your graphics card as VGA, otherwise you're not going to have proper graphics. They're going to look like ZX Spectrum graphics, other than uh, if you have VGA mode. And you're going to have to have joysticks set to off. Because the way FR500, our type myself, set this up, in order to run a joystick, it is recommended to have controller map via keyboard, and in order to do that, you need to have your joystick disabled. And we're going to start the game here, and I'm going to show you what happens if the game runs too quick. This is also uh, prevalent with games like Route 42. See, the game runs too quick. But I'm going to show you what the game is like uh, once we get past this Voltron reject enemy here. Concept wise. Don't even attempt to take it on that enemy. Just run right past him. But yes, the game runs too quick. Unplayable. But we're going to do a little patch here. We're going to go to my uh, Mega Man folder. I have this game completely patched right now, and I just have to load the Mega Man Executable. But if you have the Mega Man patched in the same folder, you simply click it, run it with the core, 
And then you're able to run the game like this. It all has a patch in the update, of course. And thank you, BB Brad Smith. The slowdown set to 3 is pretty much normal speed. Graphics card set to VGA and all these other things are set. Joystick has to be off. And you're going to be able to run the game at normal speed for both Mega Man 1 and 3 once you patch. But very, very cool game. This is made by one single individual. And he's uh, via High Tech Expressions. See, it's running normal speed now. But there is another way that you're able to slow the game down as well. And I'm going to show you this with the Round 42. And you can watch my Mega Drive Overclock video to see me take on this entire stage. But for right now, I'm going to move on to another game. We're going to do Round 42 here. And this game is another game that runs too fast, but it's a great, great shmup. It is also going to be available on the Mod Hub. Elven Software Company, thanks, great work here. Game is from the same year that Metroid came out for the NES. And you can see the game runs way too quick. So what you normally would need to do is go into Quick Menu, Settings, Input. I'm going to go to Hockey Binds. And I'm going to set Slow Motion Toggle to a button I'm not using, which is going to be R2. And if you want to revert it, simply push the Start button and it resets it. But again, I'm going to set it to my R2. And then when I go back to the game, now I'm running at normal speed. And I have two weapons. I have my normal blast here, and I have a charge blast, a special attack. Let's get through a couple stages here, and the idea is trying to get all the way to stage 42. Or should we say round 42 fight. And you can see there's a little bit of a bug here from the original core design of the game. Enemy speed up. It's kind of cool. They actually speed up as you get a uh, fire on them. That last enemy is always hard to take out. I'm going to show you a little trick to taking out the last enemy. Save your special attack, which is the A button for the final enemy. You'll see what I mean. But again, thank you, Patent Place, for recommending this game. It's very, very cool. Again, do not use your special attack until you have one enemy left on the screen. It'll make things so much easier. We got a couple enemies here. Let's get a few more out. Then we'll use our special attack. One more, then we'll use the special attack. Definitely a little bit of a challenge there. Okay, special attack. Bam. Okay, try one more stage. Imagine trying to run this at full speed. Look at it. That's insanely hard. Bam, 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 bam. Too hard. So we're going to do slow motion. And again, if you want to go back into retro settings, input. And you can also do this on Mega Man 1 and 3. If you don't want to have to worry about the patch, you just have minor refresh issues. So high key binds. And we're going to turn the toggle off. Then we're going to exit Retro completely. Then when we go to load the next game, we should be fine again. We're going to do uh, Tyrion now. The last game that I have support for along with Mega Man 3. And in my Mega Drive mini video overclock, I did this on the uh, l mode where you can level up and stuff. Now we're going to try the first stage on Arcade mode. And again, this is going to affect all games and cores. It's going to run everything 11.8% better on the S, NES and Mega Drive minis. Let's check this out. We're doing arcade mode. If you do the normal uh, campaign mode, you're going to be able to level up. Look how awesome this is. This runs so amazing with overclock here. And with arcade mode, your power-ups are just going to randomly drop. And yes, we can hold down the button and do turbo fire. There we go. And I have L1 and R1 set to your uh, left and right flank weapons. See if we can even get to the first stage here. I'm still digging this music here. If you ever play games like, uh, of course, um, Batman, Adventures of Batman and Robin on a Mega Drive, it's kind of cool. You have the uh, esoteric music, which is kind of like surreal, and it pretty much usurps the sound effects. But very, very cool indeed here. You can see my health there. My shield is the blue bar in the bottom right. So I want to be able to keep that manageable here. So far, so good. I should be able to at least make it to the boss battle here. My shield does recover, so you do have uh, health restoring if you get hit by a few enemies and you try to stay safe intact. And I might do a couple more games that are overclocked in this video demonstration because, like I said, MAME 2003 Extreme, etc. games run way better. MAME 2010 games run way better. You can run Power Drift on MAME 2010 now, finally. 
in previous releases that did not run all too well without overclock. And I'm going to do a couple more videos before I do the release tomorrow. Just to show you a few more things that are going out with the release. But yes, overclock is nice. I'm going to be running it full time. I do have an appropriate uh, 5 volt, 2 amp plus power source though. So keep that in mind. You're going to need that when you're running overclock and or USB hose. For the most part, I also use my default adapter. It came with the SNS Classic and I've had no problems as well. And for my PlayStation Classic, I'm using a powered USB hub with an appropriate power source. The USB will try to work in overclock for the PlayStation Classic in the future as well. But yes, if you want to play games like this, definitely check out Konami's Great Axe Light, which is a pretty obscure shmup considering. We're pretty leveled up here, so I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty taking on the boss battle. Now I'm roughly at the halfway point. I failed on uh, Star Gunner and Mega Man Street Fighter, so hopefully I'll be able to not fail on this game. Like I said, I don't need to do hundreds of uh, retries or records because I'm simply going to let you see it as it is, my failures and flubs, for y'all to enjoy. And suffice to say, I would never get tired of this music. It is well, well done music. It sounds like great orchestral synthesizer arrangements here. Almost like MT32 style, like in the Scum VM demonstration I showcased last month. And if there are any other DOS games that you guys and guys would like to see supported, let me know and I'll get them supported for the next release. So come on, let's take out this boss battle here and we'll maybe do one or two more games with Overclock and then we're going to move on to finishing the update. Okay, I have faith I can finally take out the boss panel. And this slowdown is much, much worse if you're not using overclock, just to forewarn you. Secret level. I haven't gotten a secret level thing before. Okay, let's try taking out this boss battle without getting my butt whooped. Remember, he kind of takes you out in one hit if he goes down on you. Kind of like with the Blaster Master boss battle. I still need to get back to my backlog Blaster Master game on 3DS. I have that along with the Metroid 2 uh, remake. And I, do, I still need to do Bloodstained. You're going to probably see me run Bloodstained in a video demonstration in my next video or two. I'm going to be doing a Donkey Kong video probably next though because I have some... Donkey Kong hacks implemented for the update as well. Now, like this, I can actually stay to the left or right of the enemy here with my special right flank weapon. This is awesome. I wish I would have had this in my last video for the Mega Drive Mini Overclock. Makes things way easier. Got this, guys and gals. Looks like I'm kind of safe here. Kind of like being up here for Kid Icarus Final Stage. When you're taking on Medusa, you can stay at the top off indefinitely, for the most part, and have no enemies touch you whatsoever. This should be a pretty easy boss battle, actually, since I can actually attack it from the left or right. Loophole! Work around, here we go. But obviously, I gotta break off part of the uh, shell here, so I can take on the internal mother load of the enemy. And the boss battle would actually go a little bit quicker if I could take it uh, vertically, like this. See, it'll go a lot quicker this way. But I don't want to get taken out by the enemy in the process. There we go. I should be able to take the boss out this time. And I actually love the music to the second stage, which you're going to see. There we go, we took it out. We're going to do the next stage here. And it has Doctor Who style, Muse, uh, Resistance style music. Oh, this is the secret stage, actually. It went to a different stage than the stage I expected it to go to. But typically, it goes to a Doctor Who style stage. But uh, check it out, Tarion. Great, great game. There's also Tarion 2000, which I'll probably add as well. But let's try an arcade game with, uh, or actually, we'll do a Dreamcast game with Overclock. This is our final demonstration here. This game runs so much better. And I'm running this with Flycast Extreme right now, right here, which is going to go in the update. And it runs way, way better than before, 11.8% better, on top of the normal performance and speed enhancement upgrade. 
But yes, Dreamcast on the SNES Classic running pretty spot on close to the performance and speed level of the PlayStation Classic with this very next update with Extreme Overclock and Flycast Extreme and Retro Extreme all installed in conjunction with one another. That was a mouthful for sure. There we go, Arcade Mode activates. And just wait till you see how amazing this game runs now. Are we still... Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 also run so much better than before. Nice and smoother. This is beautiful indeed. Nice solid 30 frames per second. Nearly a hint of hiccups. And maybe we'll try an arcade game on Main 2003 stream as well. I'm looking forward to Zombie Land 2, by the way. That should be a very, very fun movie. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need another weapon here. I guess I'm failing at the zombie games as well. Machine gun. Machine gun. Okay, let's take some enemies out with the machine gun. Yeah. If you ever want to play Resident Evil without fighting ribbons, play Zombie Revenge. It's the next best thing. But yes, we got Zombie Revenge, which is awesome here. And let's try an arcade game as our final game. I'll go to our arcade games. Oh, what do we want to try? Oh, we'll do, how about, uh, Dungeon Master, which is a game that always had issues running in the past. This game should run much better with Overclock. It's one of the Title F3 games, and all Title F3 games typically have issues with performance and speed because they are CPU intensive. This includes some of the Puzzle Bobble and Bubble Bobble games as well. Let's see how this runs now. Again, sound is not going to be absolutely perfect, but we're going to have our speed and performance intact. Dungeon Master, aka Lightbringer. Dungeon Magic. Let's see how this runs. And I'm hoping to get Gaiopolis supported as well. It's going to need a bootstrap in for him, kind of like running gun. Yep, running nice and fast and dandy here. Beautiful. And this is a game that many people have asked about in the past. But look, it's run absolutely perfect now. In great two-player mode, activate to boot. So definitely get a second controller and do some two-player mode, activate with this awesome game. Ah, uh, maybe we'll try another game as well. Let's see what else we have. Uh, let's go through the arcade subset of games on my main user interface. Oh, we got Darius Gaiden. And I love these Darius games because they have impeccable soundtracks. There are actually some real music and vocals and such in many of these Darius games. I have Darius Burst Chronicles on my Vita and PlayStation 4, and they're both phenomenal games. Well worth the $40 US uh, price tag that I paid initially. This is another title F3 game, by the way. You can also play the PSP version of this if you'd like to. It runs great on both of these. Arcade and PSP version. You can see performance is quite a deal better. If I get a little bit into this, you're going to get some incredible vocals. Let's get to the music part. And I do have turbo fire simply by holding the button down. Let's hear these vocals coming up here when I get to the next subsection of the stage. Some jazz fusion pop style music going on here, which is typical for a shmup from the time and era that this came out from. Signal cue in the vocals here. Anytime now. Right there. How awesome is that? You play Psycho Soldier, another game by uh, SNK. It actually has vocals in the game is way back from like 1986 or so, which is incredible for the time. Digging it completely. Okay, that's running great. Another title F3 game accounted for. I pretty much have each and every one of these accounted for. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have Bubble Bobble 3, Bubble Memories that runs fine. Arabian Magic. Oh, we'll try Arabian Magic. And I guess I'm going to have to do an Amiga game for the final game because uh, in the previous uh, video upgrade for PlayStation Classic, I showed Agony running much, much better for the PlayStation Classic. But guess what, guys and gals? With the overclock, Agony's going to run better for the SNES Classic and NES Classic as well. <laughs> so we're going to make an Amiga game, that final demonstration here. Another great game, Arabian Magic here. 
Not to be confused uh, with, of course, the Sega System 32 Arabian Fight, which is also a great game. Let's call Aladdin out here. Bam. The genie. Would have been nice if I had some enemies on the screen to take these out with, though. But yes, Arabian Magic, incredible game. Two player mode entry. Right? Running awesome, this game is another one that hit his shoes. It's a Tato F3 game. Okay, our final game for the video is Agony for Amiga. And you can see this game running better than ever before. With the overclock and the updated, of course, PUA Extreme Core. Let's see how this game runs, and then we're going to move on to finishing the update. Come on now. And I have this set up where you're going to be able to use the B or X button to start your game, of course. And Shadow of the Beast runs with near perfect intensity now, as well with the update. Psygnosis, who became SEAA later on. They're also behind the Wipeout game, of course, and Formula One on PlayStation One. It's like the THQ, or should we say THX, the uh, sound, Dolby sound thing. Okay, let's check out Agony and see how well it runs on SNES Classic with the overclock. Here we go. Way better than before. Awesome. Very, very playable now. Definitely an incredible upgrade from previous releases. And this is going to be tougher to run games. If you play stuff like Shadow of the Beast, it's going to be running flawlessly on your SNES Classic now. So yes, you're going to have full speed Amiga emulation on most games now. And games like this in the Latin are going to run pretty damn close to spot on. So hope you enjoyed the video guys and gals, the update will be out tomorrow.